<laughs> you know. That was my Pixar impression. Okay, on to the video. With the release of Lightyear still in theaters and not on Disney Plus yet, I figure I'd take a look at make a review on not one, not two, but three Pixar games. Starting with A Bug's Life for the PlayStation 1, which is what I have it for, yeah. Not the Nintendo 64, I swear, <laughs> because it's obsolete, because, you know, I'll just re I only have it for the PlayStation 1, so on to the review. So here you can here you can play as Flick and save an island from the clutches of Hopper and his grass and his grasshopper baddies. Yeah, that's it, baddies. So yeah, that and eh, that's it. Yeah. So in this game, you'll come across not just Dot, the little pipsqueak that is, but also the circus bugs, Heimlich, Slim, Rosie the Spider, um, Manny, Francis, and of course, Gypsy the Butterfly. Yup. That's right, and you also get to fight minions like Molt and the and the tough fly, yeah, and of course Hopper as the final boss, yeah. And you also come ac get to come across Princess Ada, that is, of course, and of course. This game is so much fun to play to this day. Yeah, even though I have a PlayStation 2 and a P PlayStation 3, both, I mean both PlayStation 2 s and PlayStation 3 systems, yeah. That's it, yeah. And there you have to go to the finish line. Level exit, that is. So there. Why not? And you'll fight enemies like uh, worms and spiders and... You know... Centipedes and... Of course... Many other things. Yeah. I have to come up. Oh, and of course... Beetles, which you'll battle, of course... And you'll collect, and you get to collect green as well, yeah, and you know, this is very similar to Toy Story 2, which was released a year later, the game, and the movie that is, yeah, so, I wonder if they're gonna ever do a Bug's Life reseeded on the PlayStation systems, Xbox systems, and the switch of course and of course the steam because I'll plant because when it comes I'll probably get it for switch as well as I'll oh and you get to fight mosquitoes as well but back to the good stuff so so Mick put put three games together in each pack each cartridge or disc like a bug's life monsters inc and incorporated and finding nemo revamped yeah so and yeah they'll have to do toy story as well toy story trilogy repackaged yeah for the playstation systems xbox systems and of course the steam systems and of course the Nintendo's Wii, uh, I mean, Switch, yeah, of course, 
And of course, there's many berries to use. There's the gold berry, which you can use to defeat enemies, yeah. And of course, you get to collect, collect letters in Flick's name, of course. And, and you'll fight Mosquito, like I said, uh, okay, I said that already. And you'll fight Grasshoppers as well. And you'll use seeds to make either berries... I mean, blueberries, mushrooms, or plants, depending on what it is. Well, it is, yeah. So, yeah, why not? Of course. So, yeah. And there's also this canyon section. So, yeah. I managed to get through it. Pretty tough, I mean. So, yeah. Absolutely. And this level is not so bad. It's not that bad, I mean. So, and this game is actually pretty good. Yeah, it's very good. Might I say. And, of course... There's a lot of stuff to go through these days now. And you also get to battle flies as well. Forgot about that. And there and the leaf is your health and fuel. I, I mean, yeah, health, yeah. Oh, and there's this as well. Wait, where it helps you restore your health, yeah. And of course, these these beetles, yeah. Which are oh, and how could I forget about Tuck and Roll, yeah. And Dim, the Rhino Beetle, yeah. I almost forgot about those two, yeah. Sadly, no appearance for the Queen, or yeah, well. Yeah, that's it. So, sadly, and, uh, oh, and... Also, you get help from... Mr. Soil, yeah. Thanks for, thanks for reminding me, yeah. Oh, and you get to battle wasps as well, as well as bees, yeah. Oh, and you get to fight Daddy Longlegs as well, yeah. So, if you play Toy Story 2, you probably play A Bug's Life. If you played the Toy Story computer games, you probably did that the same with A Bug's Life as well. And if you've seen Toy Story 2, you've probably seen A Bug's Life as well. Like I have. Yeah. So, yeah. Computer... CD-ROMs are obsolete these days, yeah. Oh, and you better not fall into those holes or else you'll lose a life, yeah. Be careful, alright? Alright. So, yeah, of course, yeah. I had a lot of stuff in mind, I had a lot of stuff I wanted to say about a bug's life. So, you get to defeat Hopper in the end. And there's many movie clips you'll come across, yeah, from the movie, even... So this game probably came out before the movie was released, maybe, I don't know. Oh, and you better watch out for these grasshoppers, because they might kick your butt. Oh, look at that. Wow, I want... I wanna... Oh. Never mind. You get to bounce on mushrooms, and you even get to plant how high the leaf grows, yeah. So, of course. 
So yeah, I pretty much reached the end of a bug's life. So pretty, I'm gonna top it all off with a big. And um, so yeah, why not? So I reckon you pick this up at a local retro game store, yeah, because this is fun to play. So yeah, on to the next game. I had a lot of stuff about a bug's life I wanted to say, so on to the next one. Yep, here we are, Monsters Inc. Mike Wazowski! You know. Boo says that. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah. So, here, here you can play as Sully, and that's it. You can't play as Mike, though. That's a shame. Yeah. With the early years of bu A Bug's Life and Monsters, Inc., all to the modern stuff like Turning Red, Soul, Lu Luca, and... Lightyear, among others, Pixar is really doing good so far, and the good dinosaur is there too. Well, that's because it's trash, yeah. Uh, trash. Go, no, 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 yeah. Behavior is what it's developed by, yeah, which is known as developing titles such as, uh, you know. SpongeBob, Link, mm. Plankton's Robotic Revenge, yeah, and he and there are all kinds of monsters incorporated game, other good ones as well. I have to see which ones I can find, yeah, maybe in the future, yeah, of course. So, yeah, of course. Here you can play through 8 levels, and that's it! And you'll also come across some cutscenes, like in a bug's life, yeah. So yeah, why not? So, here you can get it from the PlayStation 3 store, yeah. And here's the trailer, as well, yeah. Alright, on to the game. So, here is a cutscene you'll come across. One of the cutscenes you'll come across during the game. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So, you also get to save Boo from time to time in this level. Yeah. But after this cutscene, yeah. From the clutches of Randall Boggs, yeah, and uh, of course, Henry J. Warner, who's the third, yeah. I'll kidnap a thousand children before I let this company die, yeah, Warner News, you know. Yeah, this is different. His, you know, his line, and you also get help from uh, Mr. Bile and the Yeti and Yeti of course yeah of course and maybe and sometimes Warner News will help you from time to time yeah and Mike you will help you as well as the Yeti yeah like I said yeah Sorry, I had a tickle in my throat. But anyway, on to the game. Yeah, so to be honest, this game is pretty good in my opinion. Yeah, so yeah, why not? So obviously, this game is pretty cool, pretty awesome in my opinion. So I completed it back in 2015, that is, yeah. So of course, yeah, I have it on PlayStation 2 as well. Yeah, of course. 
In this final level, you'll save Boo from Randall Boggs as well as Waternoose. And yeah, new record you'll get, of course. Oh, and the purple mo eyed monster, one eyed monster is the fuel. <coughs> and of course, this level, yeah. The factory, yeah. And of course, there was a few cut le me levels, maybe, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm not good with that stuff. So, I'm, I'm a true Disney fan, you know. As well as I'm a true video game fan, yeah. I'm not, in fact, I'm not a, in fact, I'm not a die-hard Crash fan, so, I'm a big Crash fan, yeah. Not a die-hard Crash Bandicoot fan, yeah. So, yeah, I like all Crash Bandicoot games, well, except for the DS Mind of a Mutant and the DS Cra Infamous Crash Boom Bang, that is. Yeah, so, well, on to Mon- let's continue with Monsters in Incorporated, shall we? So, you'll slide on ropes and cables, yeah. So yeah, why not? And in this level you get to find Boo, of course. Yeah. So yeah, I had a tough time doing that. Yeah, so yeah, why not? So obviously we do have some have one more game in here, so yeah. Now's as good a time as any to make good on that promise, huh? Okay, now, here goes no- Okay, this review revolves a fuel. Yeah. <coughs> Sorry, I had to tickle my throat again. Yeah. Oh, and be careful. Randall will do anything to stop you. Of course. Alright, yeah. Now, you get to scare robotic children here, so yeah, why not? And also you get behind the scenes footage as well. Yeah, something like that. So, yeah. yeah. And this footage is actually pretty cool. I, re I saw it myself and it was really good. Pretty cool, might I say. So, yeah, and you also get to collect these tokens, the Scream tokens, yeah. So, yeah, Boo rides on your back from time to time, yeah. Yeah, and look at this box, and here's Mike again, yeah. And you get to climb up these buildings as well, yeah. So yeah, why not? Also, we have Scream Team, but that's a game for another day, which is uh, what I'll get, maybe. Yeah, and maybe I'll also get Tarzan, but yeah, I'll, I'll possibly get Tarzan as well. Yes, and I also reviewed Toy Story as well, which is also pretty good, yeah, might I say. In fact, I already reviewed all the Toy Story video games, minus the handheld games, that is. So, yeah, of course. You better watch out for these machines, or, those, or else they'll squash you to death. Oh, and check out this cutscene. Looks like Sully chasing Boo in the restaurant, going after her. And there's Cel and that was Celia as well. Yeah. She's in, looks like she's in this game too. And also you'll get, and here's the link. And here I, here is the website you'll get it on, as well as the PlayStation Store on the PlayStation 3, that is, yeah. Oh, and check out Projects, Project 2319 YouTube account. 
pretty cool, might I say. So, yeah, I pretty much reached the end for, uh, uh, you know, uh, Monsters, Inc. Yeah, so, on to the next and final Pixar game for now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which is going to be Finding Nemo. Alright, here is Finding Nemo. And you'll also get clips from the movie, this time in a level. This is a, yeah, I know, the clips are stuck in the levels. Start and finish, yeah. End in the middle, yeah. Here you get to play as Nemo, Marlin, and Dory, of course, yeah. And I managed to complete this game back in, uh, 2005? Yeah, let's go with that, 2005, yeah. Or maybe 2006, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Yeah. Nemo gets kidnapped and it's up to Marlin to save his son. Yeah, along with Dory. And here, Nemo gets kidnapped by divers and, it, and Marlin tries to chase the boat, but he fails. Oh, and there's also chasing levels as well, where you get to chase Dory for the boat, and be careful with exclamation points, yeah, or else she'll lose, you mean, okay. and be careful with question marks as well, or else she'll lose, or else she'll start back to where you came from, yeah, and where you left off, yeah, yeah. Oh, and the subtitles are pretty cool, might I say, as well. Oh, and you better watch out for these eels and hermit crabs as well. They're the enemies. Yeah. Oh, and characters you also come across are Mr. Ray and Pearl and Sheldon and Tad and the Tank Gang, Gil, Bloat, um, Gurgle, Bubbles, Deb, and Flo, yeah, Jacques, and of course, Peach, the starfish, yeah. And you also come across Bruce, Anka, Chum, uh, the sharks, notably, yeah. And you also come across Crush, and of course, maybe, and Nigel, maybe, yeah. And of course, yeah, of course. And of course, the School of Fish, of course, yeah. So here, Marlin and Bruce are voiced by Jess Harnell, as well as Jennifer Hale voices Dory. And, yeah, so yeah, this game is actually pretty good. So, it's awesome in my opinion, so make sure you hit that subscribe button, and give this episode a big thumbs up.